Hey Libra, Mariah here with Spiritually Honest Tarot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into your, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get into your general June reading for the month of June, of course. Um, I am gonna do this a bit differently, so I'm going to just keep it open-ended so that way if Spirit has any messages that he wants to or she or however you see Spirit, right? But um, I always refer to my spirit as a he. So whatever messages spirit wants to provide, I am going to provide those. I don't want to limit it, but if it does talk about love, then we'll focus on that. All right. So if you give me one moment, let me grab these cards really quick. All right. There we go. All right. So we're going to start off with our Moonology cards and see. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to start off with the Epiphany cards. Just got redirected. Just go with it. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do you want Libra to know in the month of June? Three cards, one at a time. Every love song sounds like us. Okay, so I see where this is going. What do you want Libra to know? What do you want Libra? The truth will set you free. And one more for my Libras. Fears and anxieties. So we have every love song sounds like, every love song sounds like us. The truth will set you free and fears and anxieties sets in, right? Interesting. Is there, whether this is on your end, Libra, or your person's end that you're dealing with, because it looks like this is headed towards love, is there some type of fear in regards to this connection, or are they having some type of fear in regards to you letting it in, being honest with themselves about this connection? Is there some type of fear? This feels, oh, Lord, okay. All right. It almost feels paralyzing in the sense. It almost feels paralyzing in the sense, Libra. And this may not even be your energy. This may be whoever you're dealing with. And that's what I'm picking up. Surrender to the divine. Yep. It's like, I wasn't expecting this. Something, somebody was not expecting this connection. Somebody wasn't expecting this experience. Somebody was not expecting this person at this time. It's like, right person not really sure on the timing though it's like something oh lord it's a whirlwind okay a personal issue reaches resolution and one more for my libras holy fudge it feels like a whirlwind it's like where did you come from who are you i wasn't ready for this i wasn't prepared for this how did you even find me how did you even get into my space how did you even find your way into my heart? What the hell, where the did you come from? I'm not used to this. I'm still getting over something or I'm going through something. A new romantic cycle begins and that's your card and your energy. Woo! Libra, this feels deep, honey. This feels deep. Either you or this person was not expecting the other to find their way into their heart space, into their life. And all of a sudden, here you come like you fell out of thin air into my lap. How did you get here? The sun. Give me another card for sending to the divine. How did you get here? Where did you come from? How did you fall into my life, into my lap? You're so right, but this is so wrong. No, it, it feels paralyzing. Somebody has to accept the truth of this connection and somebody is still in their head kind of a bit weary about it. Temperance in reverse. Because it was unexpected. Surrender to the divine. This was a divinely guided connection, Libra. This was spirits calling. This was meant for you, okay? If this is you, don't fight it. And if this is your person, they need not to fight this connection. But somebody wasn't. Ten of cups. Oh, holy fucking shit. I'm stuck for it. I didn't mean to get stuck, but I literally just got stuck.
Another one for my Libras. Six to air. Whoa. Hierophant on the bottom. Tower right underneath. And that's it. Uh, we're going to keep these out for a second. Because this is exactly what I'm feeling. Uh, to put everything I've been feeling so far into words, this is exactly it. The tower and the Hierophant. Where the fuck, excuse my language, did you come from? Why did you come into my life? Who brought you here? How did I find you? How did you find me? How are we brought on each other's path? But this is something of the divine, surrender to the divine and the Hierophant. This was something that was guided to you intentionally. But holy sh I did not expect to find a connection like this at this time. At the this feels like for Libras that are either they're getting out of a connection that wasn't good for them, that was toxic, they've been going through a heartbreak, or they're at least getting at the end of healing from their heartbreak, or they're at a space in their life right now where they just wasn't looking, you guys weren't looking for love. It, like this is unex unexpected love connection in the month of June. Because maybe you weren't right, maybe you weren't in the right psychological or mental state because you're still going through past residual energy or you just was not looking at all. But here it is. Literally summed up. So let's look further, right? We have the sun, temperance in reverse, ten of water, and the six of air. So I want to clarify why is the temperance here in reverse for my Libras? Oh, way too many. And I don't read these in reverse, so I will let you know that now in case one falls out in reverse. That these this specific deck, I always read upright because it has messages on them. Okay. I didn't want to take this many, but here we are. We have the Hermit, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of wands yeah i believe that's the yeah the page of wands on top of the temperance so you've been wanting a change right because you went through the ten of swords you've been feeling the hurt you've been in a situation or a connection in the past that just didn't serve you that you felt just burdened by you felt hurt by it just was a very low vibrational connection for you, Libra. And it never served your highest good. But I also feel to some extent you with the light emergent of lighters, you've been wanting that love, wanting that right love. You may have not shown it on the outside, especially with that hermit there, but you've been wanting that right love for you, or you've always wanted that right love. Even if you feel like you don't need love, right? You're fine on your own, you can be on your own. You're self-sufficient, but there's still that pull because Libras, no matter how much of an air sign you are, you do love love. You are the sign of Venus, right? We can't really deny that. And there's always been that sense with this page of wands, it's emergent of lighters, that you've wanted that right love for you. And there's been a sense of impatience, right? Wow. See, but you're getting it. Now, for some of you, I want to clarify the six of air. Why is the six of air here? Because for some of you, this could be a past connection returning back to you. And for others, I don't feel that. But I want to clarify. Why is the six of air here for my Libras? One card spirit. Nine of wands. Okay. I like this. Nine of wands, nine of lighters. Endurance and stamina. Bear the wall. Deplete it. It's okay to walk just for a moment, but push on. You're so close. Yeah. Some of you may have felt like you wanted to go back to a past connection. Maybe because you were comfortable on it. Maybe because you were with that person for a long time. You guys know each other. Or maybe it's just because you were feeling lonely. And even if the connection wasn't good for you, I don't sense that there was any other connections you had outside of the connection that you left so feeling a little bit lonely wanting to go back wanting to re-engage with something that wasn't good for you right but i feel like this time around you're standing your ground and you're deciding not to 
right? Even though there's a feeling or sense with the six of air in reverse, the six of swords in reverse, you know that that's not where you want to be, truly. And you're still holding out for the right love. Ten of water in the sun, which is coming. Magician on the bottom, you're, you have manifested it or you are manifesting it. But I feel like for a lot of you, either it's already came in or it's coming in for you in the month of June, the love that you truly desire and want, right? So let's see. Throw these back in here. And it just comes out of left field. Like, what the hell? Why is a personal issue reaches resolution here for my... Uh, okay. The Nine of Earth and the Empress. Your energy. Empress. Taurus energy. Libra energy. Nine of Earth. You're single. You're looking good. You're focused on you. You're focused on your abundance. You're focused on what you have. You don't need anybody, but you will want somebody, right? Rebirth, the death in reverse. I read this rebirth card in two different ways here. Oops. I'm reading this in two different ways here. For some of you, you may feel like you don't want to give up your single status. You like being single. You like things being about you. You may have been hurt so bad in the past or dealt with just so many felt connections or so many felt relationships that you finally built yourself up to a stable place in your life and now having to be vulnerable again or reopen up your heart like it's open heart surgery right is a bit taxing for you libra it's a bit heavy to do because you've you really are complete within yourself you feel whole you feel good just being alone and independent now that still doesn't take away from the want of wanting to have somebody there right of wanting to have that right love but if you don't have it libra you're absolutely okay without it you know you don't need anybody it's a want and you work so hard to be so self-sufficient so there's a resistance to change here with this rebirth card and the lovers in reverse now for some of you again this may be a past person coming back because we have the six error in reverse the rebirth card in reverse and the lovers which to me can indicate a past person coming back. And then with the Knight of Lighters clarifying the Six of Air, it can talk about a past person not wanting to give up on you. So the past may return, keep that in mind, but I'm not really reading this as past energy. It feels like you're standing your ground on not wanting to go back to the past because you worked so hard to build up this Empress energy where you are absolutely whole within yourself given the past experiences you've been through. And there's a resistance to change out of this singlehood because that's really, at this point, for some of you, all you've known, all, the, all you've experienced after being single for quite a while. Or for some of you, you know what's on the other, other side of a romantic connection when things don't go well. Or you, if you open up your heart too much or too soon or too quick because you guys are really loving and caring and giving. And when you fall, you fall very deep. You fall head over heels. And you know how badly that pain hurts, but you also know how long it takes for you to really heal that heart. And now that you've healed, do I open that back up again? We got the lovers in reverse. I want to clarify, why is the lovers in reverse for my Libra spirit? The Hierophant. Wow. It says complete saturation each cell every pore overrunning gray rinse water projections so societal norms things you were taught things you absorb ring yourself out and ask given the choice what would you be filled with and you want to be filled with love with this lovers either for some of you you may be deciding to go towards a connection because again on the bottom of the deck i'm just spilling everything again on the bottom of your main deck um, we had the Hierophant at the beginning, right underneath the tower, right? And here it comes up again. So I feel like for some of you, you may be choosing to open up your heart to this new love connection that's coming in. And for some of you, you really need to think about it because you know what happens when the lovers go into reverse, when you have that disconnect, how you're left feeling at the end of the day when things don't work out. Are you willing to get back into a connection? Is that something you truly want to do? And for some of you, it is a yes, right? All right, give me one second. Let me grab my card. All right, sorry about that, Libra. All right. 
So let's keep it rolling. We have a new romantic cycle begins. Literally your card. Thank you, spirit. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Earth. Another card for my Libras. Oh, way too many. Way too many. Another card for my Libras. King of Earth in reverse. Seven of Air upright, which is a Seven of Swords. And one more. One more for my Libras. The world in reverse. Okay. So Libra, I cannot deny it. This may be a past person coming back, really trying to make things right. Um, we have the King of Earth here, which could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. doesn't have to be. They can just have this placement in their chart, but it can honestly be any sign. So don't take any sign I say to heart. Please do not. <laughs> okay? It's just the energy they embody, right? But this is a very selfish, self-centered, self-serving energy when the King of Earth is in reverse. This person may try to come back and start a new romantic cycle. Somebody that you had to let go of or that let go of you. Somebody that was very deceitful, manipulative, that hurt you, right? There's still an um, open cycle here, right? There's still unfinished business, if you will. And mind you, your business with this person can be absolutely done, closed. You put, you know, Italian locks on the door, you're done, right? But this person is not done with you. And the reason why they're not done with you is based off their own selfish needs. There's still things that they would like to garner from you, right? So let's clarify this King of Earth. But see, Libra, even though this energy is showing up here, I don't know why I can't shake the sense of there's somebody new. This isn't it. This person is showing... We're going to have to go into an extended. I wasn't even going to do an extended for you guys, Libra, because I usually don't get a lot of Libra views. But there's somebody else here. There's a second presence that I feel here, and it's not this King of Earth energy. There's another person here, and that person is the one that's like, whoa, where did you come from? I can't believe you just ran into my life. How did you fall into my lap? How do we meet? And whether you've already met this person or you'll be meeting this person in June, this is somebody that you will have a life transformative connection with. So I'm very curious to get more information on that. So we are going to take this into an extended, okay? But for now, I want to see why this King of Earth is here. Okay. Um, the strength. Strength. You're holding back. Or this person held back from you. And by that, I mean they didn't give to you or give to this connection in the way that you deserve. But I don't feel you wanting, and that's why I keep, no, that Libra, there's somebody else here. Nope, nope, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. There's somebody else here. We got to go into an extended. We're going to wrap this short because there's somebody else here. And I don't know why Spirit is wanting me to talk. Maybe for some of you, you need to hear about this old person trying to come back so that way you're prepared to warn because they're going to try to start a new romantic cycle here with you. But then, no, Libra, no, there's somebody else here. And I feel their energy. There's another presence here with me. And it ain't this person. Because this person I see you letting go of or holding back from with this eight of pen uh, eight of um excuse me, with the strength card, number eight. Because you know that this person is very selfish or self-centered or self-focused. They didn't give to you in the way that you deserve. They didn't honor you, they didn't value you, right? They valued themselves. They put all of their value into themselves and things that they wanted that best served them, but not you. This ain't the energy I'm feeling here. Why is this world in reverse then? Yeah, we're definitely going to an extended on this, Libra. I don't care if only one person watches it. I need to see who is this new person. Because I physically feel another energy here and it's not this person. Why is the world here in reverse spirit? Four of Wands. Yeah, this person isn't finished with you. 
It says bonfire, toasted marshmallows, sticky with sweet smoke and smiles. Without these moments, what's the point? We were warm, we were happy, I forget the rest. Yeah, this person still reminisces and remembers the good times you guys had. Maybe they haven't had any of those sweet memories or moments with anyone else outside of you and your connection, right? Since you guys last broke apart or split apart, there was something different about you that you brought into this person's life. And they miss that. And that's why they feel like this isn't finished. But I feel like you're finished with this person. Because with you being in the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress energy, this is a person that doesn't go back to somebody that didn't value them. This is not a person that goes back to somebody that didn't value them. And again, the energy I felt off the beginning feels like a new energy. And that's why one of the other reasons why every love song sounds like this is this past person reminiscing, missing you, wanting you. But you understand what the truth will set you free is that this person is not, it's not it. They had their chance. They had their opportunity. But this fear and anxiety, this is a dual meaning for me. This is that almost anxiety and fear feeling of, hold on, I wasn't expecting for this new love or this new connection to come into my life right now. Where are you coming from? But I also feel like this is from this person that didn't value you knowing that they want to come back to you, but trying to figure out how to come back in the right way. Right? Having anxiety about it. Why is the Seven of Swords here for my Libras? The lovers. This person probably could have, probably could have, Lord. This person, we have the lovers twice. This person was dealing with another person. You weren't the only one in the mix, Libra. There's no other way to put it. I can't even say this was a work situation, a family. This person had another lover's connection. That was the secret. That was the backstab. That was the betrayal. Whether you knew it or not, I'm letting you know that there was somebody else. They betrayed you. And now they want to come back because, again, whether they went into that new connection and they didn't feel that same warmth, and now they want you back because the grass wasn't greener. Or they genuinely misses you. Either way, they want to come back. Yeah, we're going to extend it, Libra. Because this old past person, I already feel like you know that they're a no-go for you. That you don't even want to entertain it. So I don't want to keep entertaining this past energy. I just, I need to see, I can't, there's another energy here with me, Libra. I cannot fucking shake this. I don't know who energy is this. I feel a second presence and it's kind of freaking me out. I'm not even going to lie. It's kind of, it's freaking me out. Because it feels like a, a bold, a warm, it's, a, it's like a rock solid energy here. And I don't know who the fuck this is. So let's go to the extended, all right? If you want to check out the extended, the information is in the description box below. And we're going to go into deep detail in regards to this new person that's coming in for you. Um, it will be a really great read. Um, so definitely check it out. And if this is where we end and this is where we part, Libra, I wish you all the best of luck this June. And I hope it's a memorable one. Love you. Bye.